This demonstration is going to show you how to do the slip stitch hand stitching technique. Um, and again, what you're going to need is you'll need two, um, two samples of your three and a half by six. And again, what you're going to do is you're going to fold back an inch and um, press that into place. So that's the first step that you're going to want to do. And then you're going to want to butt these two, um, these two folded edges up to each other. Again, you're just going to use a one thickness of a hand sewing thread with your needle. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start and just enter, like you're going to come in through, through your folded edge and poke your needle out right through where that folded edge is and just to like identify your starting point. And then what you're going to do is I'm going to turn these, um, these samples horizontally so I can work from right to left. And then what you're going to do, and I'm just I'm separating this so you can see what I'm doing is right opposite of where my my needle was at. I'm going to go into the fold on this side, and I'm just catching the inside of that fold. And if it helps, you can pick it up and poke poke your needle through, just to kind of get that started. But hopefully, um, here in a moment, you won't have too many problems with that. And then I'm just going to kind of doing that weaving back and forth motion. I'm going to um, then pull, pull my thread through, and what that'll do is it'll connect both of these, these pieces of fabric here. And then right opposite of where my thread came out on this side, I'm going to push my needle back into the other fold. if I'm sometimes it helps if you just put your finger underneath of there to get it going. I wonder if my needle is not as sharp as what it probably needs to be. And then I'm just going to move my needle horizontally about a quarter of an inch and go ahead and pull that through. Oh man, this is looking like kind of a mess right now. I need to keep my stitches, keep my threads tight. Alright, I think part of it is, is that I was trying to leave a space there for you guys to see what was kind of going on. Alright, and then opposite of where my thread came out here, I'm going to tug that tight. I'm going to jump back in right opposite of there, move my thread a quarter of an inch, my needle a quarter of an inch over, and then pop that out. And go ahead and pull that through. And you see like what what I think was my problem is that I really need to use my left hand to kind of um, keep keep my fabric lying, lying flat. And then I'm going to hold the part where I have sewn and just give that a good tug to keep things tight. Then I'm going to go opposite again. Move my, I tell you, my fingers, I feel like I need like more delicate fingers to do some of this stuff. I'm going to go opposite of where my last thread came out go into the opposite fold, run my needle along that fold line, pop it out about a quarter of an inch, and I don't know if you want to try it, but I'm going to try it. I'm just going to weave that back into the other side now, just right opposite, and then I'm going to pop it out. So I'm doing two, kind of two little weaves both at the same time. All right, I'm going to pull that tight, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go right opposite of where my last thread came out, run that needle along the fold line inside that fold for about a quarter of an inch, pop my needle out, and then I'm going to push it right back into the other side here. And then run my needle for another quarter inch, and then pop it out in that fold line. And I'm going to tighten that, those threads up. It's looking good. And I'm just going to repeat this process going back and forth um, the whole way down this line. I feel like for me I need to get my head really close and so I really hope I'm not blocking any part of the camera. But again I'll just do one more for you guys. Right opposite of where that thread came out I'm going to jump into that fold line. And I'm not going all the way through, I'm just running my needle right along that fold and then I'm going to pop it out, pull my thread, tighten everything up, make sure I don't pull out my thread tail here. And I'm going to go opposite, opposite fabric, run my needle along inside of that 
fold line, pop it out about a quarter inch long, and pull that through. All right. And um, I'm going to stop here just so you guys don't have to, um, you know, watch me keep doing the same thing. But what what when you would use a slip stitch, um, I guess is it's typically when you when you're working underneath of a fold. Obviously, that's what we're doing here. But the slip stitch is an almost invisible stitch. Like you really, you have to look for it. And I think that if I was using a thread color that actually matched my fabric, we probably really wouldn't see it at all. Um, like I said, it's an almost invisible stitch and it's formed by slipping the thread under one fold of the fabric and then joining it with the other fold by doing the same process. So it's slipping into that fold, crossing into the other fabric, slipping into that fold, crisscrossing back and forth. And what that does is that creates this very flat surface and you really can't see any of that stitching. So I'm going to um, turn off the camera, um, but what you guys need to do is just continue stitching um, and continue slip stitching all the way down this line and then um, tie your knot off when you're done.